Oh dear, th 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 that's a lot of info. I know that's my handwriting, but I can't remember any of this. But I know it's true that w we did all this, and that he's alive, and... Mm. Sans? Huh? You... you look sad. I n know that he's lost his memory and is still in danger, but he's got good chances of survival. Aren't you happy to know that your father is still alive? Hmm. Where did you get... Oh, right. Old lab recordings. Nah, that's not news for me. Wait, you knew he was alive? But how? He was a bass skeleton, wasn't he? His soul never appeared when he died, and all his dust just vanished at the same moment. That's not enough for you to believe in something like that. What if his soul was just weakened and still shattered? Hmm. <sighs> well, skeleton out of the closet. You see, there's a connection between the skeleton souls of the same family. Uh, we can basically sense each other existing, and sometimes feel strong emotions of one another. When a skeleton dies and their soul shatters, it's a very strong feeling that you just can't miss. And Gaster's soul was out there all these years, never disappearing even if his body did. So that's how. I I'm so, so sorry, sons. Um, about who? About your mother. Who? Well, you said that skeletons can feel their relatives dying, and I thought that you had lost your mother at some point? What? No, we don't have a mother. Gaster's our only parent. Secret, <gasps> hey. both of you? Oh my god, oh my god, is that why he's got a hold of his hand? I have a theory that, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Whoa, whoa, oh hold on. Oh my god. Jeez, next you'll say that skeletons are the revived bones of the deceased or something. It's the real world, Alf, not some crazy fan fiction. <laughs> nah, that's not how stuff works. But how? I, I mean, I know it m might be a delicate topic to discuss, but cr creating a new soul with only one parent soul? Even the boss monsters need two of them. As far as I know, you need one boss skeleton soul and enormous amounts of magic stored in it to create a new one. Old man never filled in the details for me since I'm not even close to being a boss. Oh, that's why you have such a close co connection with your souls. But, but that means Papyrus knew as well. Yeah. Funny story. He was the one to point that out. I was way too stressed back then to even think straight. Everyone was. You knew he was sick! Why didn't you stop him? Why didn't you do anything? It's not his fault! He didn't do anything wrong! Everyone. Except him. Anyway, let's head to the door. We got stuff to do. Well, I've got good news. His m magic is stable inside the capsule. It's been half an hour, and still n nothing has changed in the readings. Are you sure it'll work, Sans? The capsules protect human souls from shattering. And back in our day, we used them to preserve even crazier things. I'm pretty sure it'll keep him safe. Besides, we don't have a better option. It's our best and only shot. You're right. Let me just adjust the field frequency 
and we'll be ready for the launch. All right, we're ready. But please, everyone, step back. Did it work? Seems like it, yes. I mean, now he's a ball of compressed magic and he's still alive. Th that's good. Hmm. It's weird to see him like this. Th that's w one way to put it. So, so, all you have to do now is to bring him to the lab. Yeah, the capsule will definitely keep his soul stable. The way it is now, we can finally get him out of here. Son, I need to tell you something. When I was making my first resets so the great door would appear again, one time, I waited for a week in case it would make some difference. And it did. Something really bad happened. Humans came from the surface. Six of them. Grown-ups. Wait, hold on. Maybe they came looking for you. No, I tried to talk to them, but they wanted something else. I don't know what, but they arrived with weapons. And everything went really bad, really fast. I got scared. They made another reset back then. And I'm sure they will come again when the time passes. Oh, oh no! That's... that's bad! Really bad! Why would humans attack? There's nothing they could possibly wobble wo 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 up from us! Hey, kiddo. When were you planning on telling us about that? If we managed to save Gaster. It wasn't really relevant, and I was planning on going to the King and telling him about the attack anyway. But now that we've made so much progress on Gaster's state, and I know he's really important to you and Papyrus, I had to tell you. It's still going to happen, and resetting over and over won't change this future. Huh. Well, that's some news. At least now I understand why you had to reset before launching the machine. Don't worry, though. The Royal Guards have their human invasion training perfected down to the bone. Anyway, first let us deal with this guy and then send a message to Undyne. I'm sure we'll fix him in a couple of days or so. Too bad we can't bring all these things back with us now that it's all destroyed. It's so hard to find spare parts in the underground. <laughs> yeah, I can relate. Come on, kid, let's take a shortcut. Sets this time. They must have finished what they were doing in there. Where to now? 
They mentioned the lab once. Oh, but I can't go there. Not while that smiling trash bag is around. What to do? What to do? Oh! Time to visit my number one fan. Well, that was fast. Now, to the first lap. Uh, did he hear something? Uh, uh, oh no! Oh, darlings! Why did it take you so long to get in here? I have a schedule to keep to, and you were supposed to be here hours ago. We simply must start our show right now. No, I can feel it's going to be a great show. I have such great plans for our greatest contestant over here. Everyone, give him a big hand. And now to the fun part you've been waiting for. Magnetotime! Wait! <laughs> <laughs> AMT, if you need a human for your show, I can be a substitute. Humans are like 20% skeleton. No, oh, darling, I'm not going to pay you more than you got at your comedy show back at MTT Resort. Yeah, come on, man. I can make a sensation for you. Hmm. We'll discuss this later. Well, toodles! Mm. Well, that certainly was something. <laughs> Hmm, it's pets. Hey, bro. Sons, why would you do something horrendous like this? I was so excited to finally see Metaton's quiz show today, and you just ruined it with your puns. Well, I can assure you it was pun intentional. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to encourage more of this nonsense. What are you doing at the lab? I thought you didn't even want to get close to that place anymore. Alan Frisk asked me to help there with something. Oh, the humans there? Tell them I said hi. Eh, <laughs> sure thing, bro. I'm so happy to see you getting back to work at the lab again. You're a great scientist, Sons, and I'm so proud of you. I'm so curious about what you are up to. Are you going to tell me? Oh, please, please tell me. I missed all that scientific talk you had with our father. Hmm. Yeah. It's still too early to tell, Pips. We've just started. I'll be at the lab for now, and as you know, cell phones don't work down there. Of course. I wish you the best and hope everything will go as smoothly as ever. Thanks, bro. See you later. Hmm. Howdy, my friend. <laughs> Greetings, Flowey the Flower. It's so good to see you again. It has been quite a while. That is true. Boy, I missed you as well. How have you been? Great as always, my dearest friend. Although, I'm not so sure about my bright royal guard future now that I've left the human escape. But this was a sacrifice I allowed to be. I'm most certain there will be a great opportunity for me to join that noble force. You can't even imagine what chances you have. Did you say something? 
Oh, I just said I'm most sure you'll have the most chances in the world. It's full of opportunities. It is indeed. So, what are you up to this time? Nothing much. I'm just doing my flower things here and there. Busy. Sometimes all a dog needs is a good game. Hmm. Eh, don't you worry. Even if they appear different, they're still as kind as ever. Man, it's been a while since I was in these parts of the lab. Feels like an eternity. I have to apologize, Papyrus. What for, my friend? I arrived her a little too soon, and heard you talking on the phone with your brother. Oh, it's all right, Flowey. You didn't mean to eavesdrop on my phone call. I'm sure it was an accident. It was, but I've never heard you so excited before. What was the great news that you heard? My brother is getting back to his job at the lab. I'm so proud of him. It has been a while since he worked on something he really loves. How interesting. I wonder what he's going to work on. If I only knew. Eh? Sons didn't tell me anything about his project right now. It's something Dr. Alphys and Frisk asked him to help with, but I'm sure it's something really important to get my brother so interested. I haven't seen him that active for quite a while. It's so refreshing. So, you don't know what he's working on right now. Indeed, I do not. <laughs> oh, don't be sad, my friend. I promise I'll tell you everything the moment I get the news. <laughs> That's great. Thank you so much, Papyrus. You're the best. <laughs> You're most welcome, my friend. Oh, oh, it's finished. Lethal DTP. shouldn't be that bad. We've got almost all the DT out of him. How can it be back again? S Sans? What happened to him? <laughs> DTP happened. Is it a disease? Yeah, but it's not your common cold. It doesn't come from a natural cause. It's poisoning. Distinctive trait poisoning. P poisoning? But the 
its germination. Melting, I thought. I th th thought you tried to s save him. No, oh, well. He was perfectly fine before starting that experiment. He did it to himself.